I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Alright, let's hop in. Uh, the R340 has uh, four DIMM slots. It runs on DDR4 memory. It takes uh, ECC unbuffered, and that is the uh, the only type of uh, RAM that it takes. It doesn't take registered, uh, it doesn't take load reduce. It specifically takes ECC unbuffered, and all the different procs do support uh, ECC as well. Okay. Um, as far as the different speeds you can use, you can use 2133, 2400, or 2666. Yes, if you go with 2933 or 3200, it will work, but it will clock down to 2666, which is the true fastest speed. And I will note, if you want to use some of those faster speeds, like the 2933 or the 3200, you do have to have an updated BIOS. So make sure that you are updated to the latest BIOS, otherwise those speeds will not work. Uh, so that is important to note, just to make sure that you update your BIOS uh, to be able to use this at all. And again, they will clock down. As far as the different uh, sizes, well, it's kind of funny because Dell will tell you that you can use 4 gig, 8 gig, or 16 gig, and the max is 64 overall. However, we've actually played around, and yes, those all work, 4, 8, and 16, but you can also put in 32 gigs. Again, make sure you have updated BIOS. And with 32 gigs, you can max out the R340 at 128 gigabytes using 432 gigs at 2666 speed. So awesome. Now that we know a little bit more about the uh, the DIMM sizes, DIMM speeds, uh, how you can max it out, uh, let's go ahead and actually actually install them. Let's get going. All right, so one thing I would recommend is make sure you have your SD gear on to protect the machine and not uh, accidentally damage or shock anything. So first things first, uh, we're going to put our dims to the side. That's all that we are going to need for this upgrade. So pop your latch, lift the top like all the other Dell machines you've been in before. So we're going to need to remove the air baffle. And now, once we remove the air baffle, now we have access to the one CPU and the four DIMM slots. And one thing I actually did want to know, I bring the air baffle back over. It does label um, the memory channels and the memory slots, so A1, A2, A3, A4. Um, and there are two memory channels, and the memory channels are the start of the white right here. The white is the start of the memory channel, and black is the second DIMM slot in the channel. So that means there's two DIMMs per channel and two memory channels. So if you were only putting in, let's just say, two 16 gigs or two 32 gigs, you'd want to put them in A1 and A2, which are the two white DIMM slots. And people say, well, why would I want to put them in the uh, two white DIMM slots as opposed to, say, just the two closest uh, to the CPU? And really, it's all about uh, maximizing your performance. You want an even distribution across all your memory channels. Think of it like this. You don't want one memory channel doing all the work and being overloaded and the other memory channel doing nothing, right? So you'll have uh, the two whites is what you would do if you were installing two DIMMs. If you're only installing one, it'd be an A1 the way that is positioned right now. And what we're going to be doing is installing 432 gigs and just maxing it out. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and remove the current 8 gig that is in there. So we're just going to pop this open, put it to the side. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go back over the channels real quick and then we'll start the install. So uh, this white one right here that is open, that is A1. The far outside white is A2. Coming back to the closest one to the CPU, the black one I just opened is A3. And this last black one right here is A4. So again, A1, A2, A3, A4. So those are your memory channels. I like to also open them all up before I start the install because it just makes it a little bit easier. One thing I do want to note before we do start the install, right here on the leads, there's this notch. This notch is known as a key. This key is important because it is not perfectly centered. And because it's not perfectly centered, you have to make sure you line your module up properly. Otherwise, you could potentially damage the leads or damage the DIMM slot. Uh, neither are a situation you want to run into. So just simply make sure you have it lined up properly. So, all right, now it's lined up properly. It feels like it is in, but just make sure you have it fully seated. You want to hear these two clicks. Now those two clicks let you know that the module has been uh, officially uh, inserted because what happens is the uh, the tabs on the side uh, get kind of locked in. Um, if I'll pull another module up on the side of the module, there are these little notches and it, it locks it in and you'll hear uh, the actual leads moving into the uh, to the memory uh, slot, slot, slot itself. So all right, now we're going to hear it again, click, click. So those are the first two that you would do if you were only putting in two. So now we're going to come over here to A3. 
And we're going to do the final one, a4. Okay, so we officially maxed it out. Um, I always, at the end, I like to check to make sure that these are all flush to make sure that the dims are fully seated because that's a problem that happens a lot of times where someone thinks they have a bad dim and it's just not fully seated. So we tell people to rotate the modules around and it fixes it because essentially they just properly seat the module. So anyhow, um, that is how easy the upgrade is. Uh, it, it really doesn't take much time um, and honestly it's a, a, a a pretty great boost in performance when you take a machine like this from 8 to 128. Uh, it's going to just uh, be enormous for the performance overall. And it's one of the things that we always recommend if you want to uh, you know, boost the speed and performance of your machine. Uh, SSDs and uh, memory modules are, are two of the best ways to do that. So I appreciate you stopping by. If you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers or upgrades, uh, we do Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. If you want AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, uh, we try to offer the entire life cycle new and used, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.